Alex, great to see you, mate. Congratulations on the clean sheet and the performance on the weekend. How do you reflect back on uh, on opening day for the Phoenix this season? No, nah, it, was, it was, I think I'm just really grateful to be given that opportunity to first and foremost play with this, you know, with this club. And I think credit also goes to the back line as well. Um, don't know if you saw, but we had to defend 16 corners. So um, all credit's not always on me, but, you know, with my, my back line having to, um, you know, defend all those 16 corners and, you know, do those headers, do those, um, do those blocks, it takes a toll on the body. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a very good start and hopefully we can carry it on. When did you find out that you'd be starting the game and, and how did Chiefy let you know? Um, oh, it's always been, I think, the competition between myself and Dunks has been great. So um, it's been very, very healthy. So we only know, you know, the day before um, leading into, into the game. So um, they don't really take us aside to, you know, who's going to start, who's going to do this. It's more or less, you know, we kind of make sure that we first and foremost train first, train really hard, and then we kind of get a gauge of it, you know, on the minus one. How has um, Jack Duncan been to, to work alongside in the lead up to the season? No, he's been he's been very great. Um, the fact that he has so much experience, um, not only in Australia but also overseas, um, I'm able to you know gauge a better understanding of how I can you know take a bit of his tips and tricks and implement it to my own game. So it's been great so far. It's been very very healthy for the past you know two months of our preseason. So it's been good. A couple of really eye-catching saves in the first half. Uh, one that's been replayed over and over. You tip it over the over the bar. It's going top corner. I mean. It, do you feel proud about saves like that? I mean, strikers love scoring goals. Do you feel proud about spectacular saves? Yeah, no, of course. That's why, you know, I love being a goalkeeper. You know, I love diving around. I love making those saves. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's fantastic. But, you know, at the same time, it's all credit to, you know, the goalkeeper coach as well, Ruben Parker. You know, we've kind of made that, you know, we've had to repeat that and, you know, do that in training sessions as well. So it's helped us, you know, improve and make sure that you know we're making those saves and training we can actually implement in our games. It's obvious too that um, playing out from the back is something that's part of the, the Phoenix's DNA. Uh, is that something you've had to work hard on or is it something you're always pretty comfortable doing playing with your feet? Yeah I think that's one of my strengths is to play out from the back you know use both feet and then also you know just be calm and composed on the ball. Um, you know, especially with our academy days, um, we always used to, you know, try build up on the back as much as we can and try absorb um, a lot of pressure. So, for it to, you know, actually come into fruition here um, in the first team is, you know, something that I really want to bring to the club. In Perth Glory on the weekend it means you'll be looking down the other end and seeing Ollie Sale <laughs> in goal for Perth Glory. It's going to be quite a surreal experience. How much are you looking forward to seeing seeing Ollie again? Yeah, no, nah, times have changed, eh? So, you know, who would have thought, you know, four months down the line at the start of the year to, you know, me being on the bench to looking up to him on the on playing on the field to, you know, almost potentially um, playing against him. So it'll be it'll be cool. It'll be um, it'll be nice to say hi to him again. <laughs> Um, yeah, what was it like for you last, you know, being on the sidelines, being, you know, having to watch Oli and now being a starter? I mean, what sort of mental fortitude, what sort of growth does it, and perspective does it give you being on the sidelines for that experience? Yeah, it's, I think it's one of those things where, you know, especially last season where I wasn't able to play as much, it definitely took a mental toll on me. Um, but I felt like, you know, those things do happen and it's a challenge for me to, kind of overcome and I think the the good thing about it was that I was able to actually you know take some tips and tricks from from my goalkeeper coach Ruben Parker to you know make sure that what I'm implementing in those training sessions I can get the opportunity to actually do it um, in those games so whether or not I was playing or, or not I was able to actually train and focus on my weaknesses and make sure that you know I can strengthen those up so that come the game day I'm, I'm prepared. Who'd you look up to as a goalkeeper when you were younger? <laughs> I get asked this question so many times, eh? Um, but I don't know if you know him, but his name's called Peter Schmeichel. Of course. Um, yeah. <laughs> He's pretty famous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what I was asking. Um, but no, yeah, Peter Schmeichel, um, the Danish goalkeeper, the great Dane. Um, I always used to look up to him as a goalkeeper because, you know, I'm also a, a Man United fan. So, um, yeah, he's one of those goalkeepers that I always um, look up to. And then Andre Onan is the, the goalkeeper now and likes to play with his feet. Is that something too that you're always <laughs> looking to, to work on and, and get better at? Oh, it's funny you say that actually because um, in the academy I also looked up to Andre Onan in terms of like how I build up and how he kind of uses his body to kind of manipulate um, strikers in terms of like 
him being composed on the ball and you know trying to absorb pressure and make sure that you know you can get away from you know sticky situations. So um, Andre Onana is definitely one of those goalkeepers that I look up to in the modern in the modern game. Um, so yeah, it's it's pretty cool to see what he's doing now. And Andre had a great game in the Champions League yesterday. Marcus Simon has just scored a goal in the Champions League. Can you talk to us a little bit about your experiences with him and how proud you are, I guess, seeing him yeah. score? No, nah, if, if he's watching this, um, <laughs> he's probably not playing in the middle of his game. Um, but no, nah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of, um, of Marco, you know, to especially not only, you know, make his debut in the Champions League because, you know, not many Kiwis are, are over there, but to make sure that, you know, he's actually scoring a goal there or, you know, doing well for his club there. And I think he's just doing the, doing the nation proud. So it's, it's fantastic to see. And, you know, I'm, I'm really proud of him, especially because, you know, playing alongside him when I was younger to, you know, see him, you know, play well here in, um, in the Champions League and overseas in Europe. It's, it's amazing to see. I've just got one more, mate. Sorry. Um, after the weekend, um, I'm not sure what, it, what your social media feed looked like, but your name was everywhere. Is it mm. difficult for you to keep your feet on the ground and make sure that you, know, that, that you continue what was a really good start to the season? Um, not really for me, because I like to you know, picture myself as, a, as a, humble po a humble person. So to be able to you know, have those achievements is, is great. Um, and see my name over social media, it's, it's pretty cool. But at the same time, I, I have my ways of making sure that my feet's grounded. And, um, and it's one of those things where I'm just able to make sure that with me being able to look at my family and, you know, face on my family as well, I'm able to make sure that I keep my feet grounded. Got a few questions from Phil Rollo from stuff as well. With, with Ollie moving on, how determined were you to nail down the starting gloves this season? Yeah, it's, it's, I think it was a bit of a nerve-wracking type of um, position for me to fill, a, fill into his shoes because obviously Ollie, you know, he played pretty well over the course of his seasons um, here at, at the Knicks. But um, I think it's also a thing where I have a bit more of a drive to make sure that, you know, I can try to do better than what Ollie did. So, yeah. And it's been touched on a bit, but how much was Jack Duncan pushing you during the, the preseason? No, it's, yeah, as I said before, he's been he's been great, and I think the co the, the competition between us has been healthy. So um, it's it's fantastic to have um, an older um, goalkeeper to to look over and you know to make sure that he's keeping me on my toes. As a young goalkeeper, how difficult is it to, to wait for that opportunity to, to be the number one, the first choice? Yeah, I think it it is it is a um, it is definitely a waiting game. Um, but I think at the same time, it's one of those things where potentially you just got to make sure that you just focus on yourself, see how you can do better, um, so that when the time comes for you to step up, then you're, you're ready and you're knocking the door. How much confidence did that first save give you on Sunday and help you for the rest of the game? Yeah, no, it, it definitely um, gave me a bit of confidence um, heading into the rest of the game, especially because it happened, I think it was like the fifth minute. So. Um, to make that save and to, you know, I guess stay zoned in, you know, in the first five minutes of the game. Um, it's, it's one of those things that kind of builds momentum for myself um, throughout the game.